Let's continue with our SharePoint quick questions and answers video series and let's go to question number six and this time we'll do something practical. What we'll do is that we'll create a site in SharePoint and we will see that how we can customize this site and how we can add ready-made features to this site. In order to create the site, create a site in SharePoint, uh, we need to use the SharePoint central administration. So let's click on SharePoint central administration. You can find the same in the administrator, administration, administrative tools. I'm sorry. And it will ask you to log in. So let's provide a password. Put in the username, which is the administrator for the SharePoint. Uh, for SharePoint, or we can say for this PC, I will say rather, or for the server on which your SharePoint is installed. Now, once you uh, enter your pass, user ID and password, you will see the central administration website of SharePoint by which you can configure uh, SharePoint related aspects. So, for instance, there are three tabs here Home, Operations, and Application. Now, if you click on the Operations tab, you will see that you know uh, you can configure in Operations tab uh, server level type of services you know for example that you know uh, service accounts antiviruses etc so this is more of an administrative thing and uh, this whole video is targeted towards more for programmers so what i will suggest is that you know for example to restore from backup you know uh, diagnostic logging antiviruses so these things you know i hope that a developer can learn by himself so i will not be going into details of all these things uh, and in this session we are targeting more to create the site so we will not be uh, basically uh, running around uh, doing the administrative things. The second tab is the application tab. And now in the application tab is basically to configure components which are inside the server. Okay. So you can say that this is more of application level of configuration. So in, in the application side, you will see something called as a SharePoint site management. Click on create site collection. And let's give a nice name to this. Learn SharePoint. And we'll give a nice description for this. This is this site will help us to create to learn. I'm sorry, help us to learn SharePoint. Right. And let's give the same name what we have here in the title to the URL. Now there are basically ready-made templates given by SharePoint, and depending on what you want to do, you can use this template. But at this moment, what we'll do is that we'll just select the blank site so that we don't get confused. And let's put the administrative account as a username. Just check it to ensure that we are not moving any wrong in any wrong direction or we are not wrongly typed the username. And we say OK. Now, what SharePoint does is it, it creates for you a URL, which basically is your site. Again, it pops up the user ID password text box. So let's give the user ID password. So here's your site. So here's a site configured. At this moment, this site has nothing as such. Uh, it's just a simple site with a left menu bar and uh, some em empty space in between. And the logo is of default Windows SharePoint services. And there are a couple of menus. We'll go, uh, we'll go one by one. Now the left hand side, uh, side what you can see is the quick launch bar or quick menu bar. Okay, that's what the terminology is. SharePoint, uh, SharePoint community uses for this left hand bar. To do the administrative configuration at the right hand side, you can see site actions. Now, what we'll do is that we'll try to create a simple page, a web page in this site. Now, when you click on create web page, SharePoint gives you ready made functionalities which you can use in that web page. For example, if this web page you want to, if you, if let's say that you want to create a discussion board, then you can use the ready made functionality of discussion board. You have contacts, announcements, wiki form library, document library, and a lot of other things. So what we'll do is that we'll just create a simple discussion board at this moment. In this discussion board, discussion in this message board, we will discuss, or I'll say, uh, let me keep it short, SharePoint discussion. This message board will help pressures Right. And it's saying that do you want to display this list on the quick launch bar? Yes, I want to. So when I say quick launch, it's the left hand side menu which we were discussing. And we say create and now you can see that there's a SharePoint discussion board here. You can go and you can post some messages. I'm a pressure. This SharePoint right. 
or something. Basically, uh, this this uh, video which I am showing at this moment, it it has nothing to do programmatically, but it has to more uh, what I am trying to what I am trying to visualize or what I am trying to give a, a a vision from here is that that SharePoint has these ready-made functionalities by which you know you can quickly uh, by by which you can quickly you know host a site and put in some very generalized functionalities and and start your collaboration. So. Uh, I'm, I just wanted to show that how SharePoint is very easy to create a site, to host it, to give it to the user, and user can just start using it. For example, I just just posted a discussion board uh, without any any line of coding. So there are a lot of ready-made functionalities which SharePoint has provided, and what you can do is that you know you can go through these ready-made functionalities and try to make a basic site of yours, and try to see that uh, how useful SharePoint does it, or how easily SharePoint helps you to achieve the same. So in this session, we have just try to understand how we can uh, easily create a SharePoint website. So basically, we start. We went to the administrator, uh, administration, uh, uh, administration of the SharePoint by going to administ administrative tools. We went to the SharePoint Center administration. We clicked on the application tab. We created a site collection. Remember that we discussed about site collection and sites. So I created a site collection called as Learn SharePoint, which you can see, and it has created a URL for me. And then after that, I added a discussion board to it using the site action bar at the right hand side. So try to do this exercise yourself. It's pretty easy. And uh, try to walk with me so that you know as we move ahead, we will be actually be configuring configuring lot of sites, a lot of things in this Learn SharePoint website. So I hope that this tutorial was useful and see you in the coming questionnaire.